Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for February. The month begins with a collection of energy in the part of your horoscope that's all about aspirations. Now this has been quite a theme since just before the end of last year. It's not so much about neat tangible goals, it's more about your dreams and wishes. There is a difference. So this makes you that much more idealistic and this is particularly key as this month begins because this can be a critical month for all sorts of relationships. So it's all about choosing the right ones. And as you begin this month, Mars, the power planet, continues in a part of your horoscope that's to do with a desire to perhaps open up your boundaries, to try different things, to be free of any limitations, to be a bit more uh, flexible in your approach. Now this can be about friendships as much as those goals again. And because of this collection of energy in Capricorn, friends could be important to your progress. But you may find yourself once more as this, begin, this month begins with something of a dilemma. This dilemma is between what you really want to do and what you feel more obliged to do. But there could be a financial imperative in the mix. Because being a Pisces person, sometimes you're not motivated purely by cash. But that doesn't mean to say that you don't need to keep a roof over your head and pay your bills. And you often find yourself wanting to go towards the thing that really gives you the most fulfillment. But fulfillment doesn't always make it easy around those financial issues. And as this month begins, there could be a huge opportunity to make progress. But this progress may have some strings attached to it, at least as far as you see it. Or you can have two options, and both of those options have some kind of downside. And you can find yourself trying to grapple with what is the right thing to do. Now, this can be around a, a romantic relationship. It could be around a business offer. It could be around your long-term future. But what do you do? And something can come into the open suddenly, which really challenges your hopes. Worse, it could be that there is some kind of connection with someone that you're very fond of and don't want to let down. But you feel if you follow your heart, you may have to liberate yourself in this relationship. So not an easy set of influences. It's also possible that none of those things will come up for you, but what will happen is that you find that you're strongly drawn towards someone romantically who's in your circle of friends. And this could become a very hot and heavy situation in the first 10 days of the month. But it doesn't mean to say that it's not necessarily the right relationship for you. It's just the way it comes about may rock the foundations of your world or another relationship that you're already involved with in some other way. So con conflict and being pulled in different directions is a very possible side effect of the influences at the very start of this month. But if you can get beyond these Pisces, there are a set of absolutely fantastic influences involving Venus, Jupiter and Mars. Now Venus is the planet of love. And Venus does, does align with Pluto in a very potent way at the start of this month. If you are drawn to someone in your circle, be sure that they want the same things as you, because this could turn out to be a fling that you regret if you're wanting something more sincere. However, Venus then goes on to forge a gorgeous link with Jupiter, and then with Mars, and the three of them are actually cooperating beautifully, in the, broadly, in the first couple of weeks of this month. So if there is something that you want to revive around your social situation or you want to make a plan which involves some kind of partnership or working cooperatively with someone else, as long as there isn't this conflict that I mentioned earlier, you can make huge progress. If there is a sticking point, it may come up on the back of the new moon which occurs on the 8th because this clashes with Mars and any desire you have to encounter new experiences which does really have a more psychological impact on you because it's shaken up your foundations. That could be really quite challenging. So moving into something new isn't necessarily going to be a walk in the proverbial park. Now Mercury and Venus are both going to be moving on the 13th or 16th into a more uh, gentle, sensitive and psychological part of your horoscope. 
So you may find yourself about that time really thinking very carefully towards the end of week two, start of week three, about what you really want, especially around relationships. But once the sun pitches up in your sign on the 19th, you will have a real opportunity to reinforce exactly what you want in life. It gets easier to see what your direction should be, yet there may still be a need to keep a very close eye on the emotional and psychological strands of your situation. The sun also clashes with Neptune, your co-ruler, in the last week of this month, which could suddenly drain you of vitality and the desire to keep going, and you may find yourself questioning some of your decision-making earlier in the month. But there's another influence which is absolutely sensational towards the end of February. And this is why I say it's vitally important not to discount any relationship and to take your time in making your mind up about any offers that come up earlier in this month. Because if you choose the right one, it could be a relationship which changes your life completely for the long term as this month comes to a close. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.